Hi friends, welcome to Biology Simplified Tamil. I am Sindhinathan. Environmental Issues Chapter la fourth part video. Now, agrochemicals and their effects. So, now agrochemicals are chemicals used in agriculture. Agriculture and the we are using chemicals use for the agriculture. That is why we are using the effect of the agriculture. In the wake of Green Revolution. So, Green Revolution is the same as we are using the agriculture. What is the name of the agriculture? Green Revolution is the name of the agriculture. Use of inorganic fertilizers and pesticides has increased many fold for enhancing crop production. Now, we have a lot of people who are doing this. But we have a lot of people who are doing this. That is the Green Revolution. But what is the first thing about the Green Revolution? We have a lot of inorganic fertilizers and pesticides. So that we have a lot of crop yield. Pesticides, pesticides and herbicides Sites na kalai kuli, teh ini lada ceri lada balara udang pun rade, fungi side, fungus selam poy kuli rade, are being increasingly used. Ida lana adi kama inda chemical selam agriculture lala pain pertaram cang agriculture na land lala por rade nga vilai ni lata lala por rade na. These incidentally, incidentally are also toxic to non-target organisms. Target organism yaru pucing ya, puci illa lada organisam tu. Organisme itu kau ini versiun na, okay. That are important components of the soil ecosystem. Yar, mata organisme. Example ke, orang pucci cedi kini noye air perhati de cediu purici tinggi de. Orang ni anda pucci ke, versat potu pucci kuldering ya. Man pulu, ulah berkali nanban, front of farmers. Awanggalu anda versat tala setu po awangge. Adzda inge solrangge. Do you think these can be bio magnified in the terrestrial ecosystem? So bio magnified na, nama paton laya. Kutti plants kutti itu lah kamy ada kau anda chemical se, aduk apa orang anda pati na heavy metals kamy ada kau, ada sah perang orang kini kau jadi awak, awang la sah perang orang kini jadi awak itu bio magnification. We know what the addition of increasing amount of chemical fertilizers can do to aquatic ecosystem. And the eutrophication lah, nanti sila ya. Vice versa eutrophication. Ada tu eutrophication kira di mana de? The lake, pond, nala adi kah mana? And the nutrients adi kah mai cina, aikarnia, algal bloom, ini lah mandro. Apro aging of lake, and the lake kondo tuhun tu pay lake, and the airi illa malai pedo, adala narakom. The current problems in agriculture are therefore extremely grave. Bayangkan mana abad tanah dah iri kui ipodi ki iri kau kuli agro agro chemicals agro chemicals use pandan nala agriculture lerka problem mihal bayangkan mana iri. Next case study of organic farming. So ipo agriculture lerka chemical use pandan nariya perbincangan lama berde. Apo aduk ur solution enna. Adha ipan am pakar de organic farming. Integrated Organic Farming is a Cyclical Zero Waste Procedure. Cyclical is the same as the same as the same. Zero Waste is the same as the same as the same. For example, if you have a nail, you can use the same as 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 the same. Waste products from ओरे नमस्कार ने waste products from waste products from इंगे waste products from one process are cycled in as nutrients for other process. This allows the maximum utilization of resource and increases the efficiency of production. Ramesh Chandra Dagar. Ramesh Chandra Dagar, a farmer in Sony Pet, Haryana, is doing just this. This is the same thing. One process is a waste, another process is a pain. He includes beekeeping. Beekeeping is the same thing. Dairy management is the same thing. Water harvesting is the same thing. Water harvesting is the same thing. Composting is the same thing. And agriculture is a chain of process which support each other and allow an extremely economical and sustainable venture. So, waste is the same thing. 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 Dairy management, water harvesting, composting, composting, agriculture. Then there is no need to use chemical fertilizers for crops. Crops are chemical fertilizers are used as cattle excreta. Cattle is the cow and the cow. That is the cow and the cow. That is the cow and the cow. Crop waste is used to create compost. So compost is used to create a waste in the crop. Which can be used as a natural. 
natural fertilizers uh, or can be used to generate natural gas for satisfying the energy need for the farm. Uh, so, farm ku thevena energy namak and the um, uh, natural fertilizers lende generate panikla. Enthusiastic about spreading information and help on the practice of integrated organic farming, Dagar has created the Haryana Kisan Welfare, Kisan Na Vivasaigal Welfare Club with a current membership of 5000 farmers. In the integrated farming la, organic farming la, IIR farmers are one the Haryana Kisan Welfare Club la join panne vachirukkaraaru. Radioactive waste. Initially, nuclear energy was hailed as a non-polluting way for generating electricity. Appa, in the uranium idhila nthala nama uh, nuclear energy eduthukum bodhu waste e varla pa pollution e varla pa air pollution water pollution la illa pan nanachikittu irundhom but ipo enna aayiduchu paarenga later on it was realized that the use of nuclear energy has two very serious inherent problem adhiliye and the nuclear energy thayarikkiradhula ulliye adangiya problem rendu irukku enna inga odi pochi and the problem enna appdi ipo paakala so uh, the first is accidental leakage as occurred in the three mile island and chernobyl incidents idhala vachi naadagame vandirukku web series e vandirukku and the second is safe disposal of radioactive waste radiation enna neenga radioactive waste la nindu radiation vandukitte irukum adhanal namak problem uh, cancer la varadhukku vaippu irukku radiation that is given off by nuclear waste is extremely damaging to organisms organism tha bayangarama baadhikum because it causes mutations at a very high rate at high doses um, uh, nuclear radiation is lethal lethal na uire poyidum lethal na uh, leads to death irandu poiduvanga but yeah, at lower doses it creates various disorders higher uh, dosage la uire poyidum lower dosage la nariya disease la varum the most frequent of all being cancer and the radioactive waste nal adhigama varakoodiya problem enna na cancer disease tha therefore nuclear waste is an extremely potent pollutant and has to be dealt with utmost caution paadugaapa paathu soodanama payanpaduthanum illana miga periya vilaivugal la yerpaduthum it has been recommended that storage of nuclear waste after sufficient pre treatment nalla treat pannadukapra nadha storage panni vekkano uh, nuclear waste should be done in suitably shielded container buried within the rocks about 50 500 meter deep below the earth surface idu question la kepanga 500 meter ku keela earth la nalla shield alla potu ulla podach vekkanum however this method of disposal is meeting stiff opposition from the public ye yeah, public kitta irundhu idu panna koodadun solranga endha edathila podikkaraangalo anga irukka makkalukku anga irundhu radiation vandu baadikku nu makkal bayapadradanaala vena nu solranga avlo dhaan so greenhouse effect and global warming next part video la paakalam indha video ungalku helpful ah like share comment pannunga biology simplified tamil channel ku subscribe pannunga because your support is our strength thank you